Hello and welcome to the Will Bailey Fishing Show. I've made it here. I am on the south coast, um, Dorset coastline. First time in, uh, well ever actually. I'm, uh, I've managed to make it down and I'm fishing on Chesil Beach. Um, beautiful, absolutely lovely. Um, I've set up already and uh, been out for about 45 minutes. Um, had a mackerel already on a, on a three hook um, uh, Paternoster rig. And uh, another interesting fish which uh, I was well chuffed with because that was my first ever. And I, I asked the chap next to me what it was and he enlightened me and told me it was a Gurnard. It was about so big, probably about like, I don't know, eight inches long, quite fat at the end. Apparently they don't, they don't grow all that big, but uh, extremely happy that I managed to uh, get a new species on my list. So uh, I'm just gonna pull in the flapper rig because there's some, something going on there now. Uh, the three hook Paternoster flapper rig on the left there. I'm gonna pull that in and see what we can see. Um, I caught that on, well both actually, mackerel and gurnard on um, sprats that I'd bought from Morrison's like in uh, over the winter <laughs> so or in spring maybe before the um, all the horrible uh, activities activities have been going on pandemic and all that recently so yeah bit of result really um, I'll go and get that in and see see what I can see <laughs> Nothing on that one, apart from uh, two of the baits that had gone. So um, I'll bait up again and whack it out. Well, people, oh, it's been quite some afternoon. Evening now, half past seven. Um, the wind's got up a little bit. Did say it's going to be around 13 miles an hour, but I tell you that feels a lot. A lot blowier than 13 miles an hour. Oh dear. It's quite hard work this fish in Malarkey, isn't it? I'm pretty chuffed though. I've got a, um, got a mackerel and a gurnard already. So uh, I think that was around peak time according to the Solunar fishing calendar. It was like a peak um, at around six. And then the next peak's gonna be, it's the minor, it's gonna be um, around nine o'clock. So hopefully you might pick up one or two in between uh, now and then, but it said no rain on the, uh, on the sonar, but um, the clouds going inland there, it's just building up. It's just, I don't know, it's like the clouds kind of build up as the air comes off the ocean onto the land so it looks like it's raining over there or like foggy about half a mile up the up the hill there quite a beautiful setting though i mean like i said first time i've been uh, down this neck of the woods um proper kind of open ocean really compared to the bristol channel what i'm used to quite high up in the bristol channel so it's nice nice to get to Get the spray in the in the uh, in your hair a little bit, like in, in the wind. It's beautiful, salty. Do you know whether I might have something nibbling? Apparently, there's quite a lot of spider crabs uh, knocking around this this uh, bit of shoreline here. So.
I've noticed that uh, on one of the baits I put a whole squid and it had just been chewed to pieces by something. Ooh. Looks a bit like a, a slack line bite that. I'm gonna go and check that out. I could have swore that was a, a fish flapping on one of those hooks then, but it was just a bit of bait. Um, oh. So just put the big uh, the big bait out on the right hand side. A bit of weed on the line. We're going to tidy that up. Absolutely nowhere near the amount of weed there was last time I went out South Wales but at least I caught something. In fact, uh, I will show you. Put the gurnard back. Uh, it's quite a small one. Um, but uh, the mackerel is definitely a decent size and it's, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be supper. So I put it out of its misery very quickly and lively thing, beautiful looking. But to be honest with you, the Gurnard, my goodness, that thing fought like a trooper. I couldn't believe how, uh, how feisty that was. It had a big head, beautiful. I, I'll put, uh, I didn't film that, unfortunately. I, I, I'll put the, uh, the couple of pictures that I got there uh, in the video to show you, but, um, it was absolutely beautiful, like white underside with kind of a red, I can't remember, like red and then blue, bright blue on the on its big long kind of dorsal fins, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. First time Welsh off with that Gurnard. Apparently, uh, they don't get very big. And the chap down the, on the beach there, I was just uh, went and up to him and asked him. He reckons that, uh, he uh, once won a competition for the biggest gun and it was something like one pound four ounces or something. I reckon that wasn't far off that, if not possibly bigger. I mean, it was, it was a good kind of, like I said, like eight, nine, uh, ten, eight, even inches long. And it four. That was a good fight of that fish. Uh, so yeah, but I'd, like I said, put it back and uh, gets to fight another day. It's turning quite nice now. The sun's sun's come out finally. Really was uh, getting like almost kind of probably like 20 mile an hour wind not not long ago. It's calming down a little bit now. A lot of people left the beach, so I've come back. I've come down the the beach a little bit. Just need a nice a nice couple more mackerel or a big fat bass will be nice. But whatever, you know. I'm happy with anything. Ah, this is great. So I, uh, I did um, shift at work this morning. So I was up at like um, half past five, before half past five. Early start, finished, early afternoon, shot down here. It took me a couple of hours to get down here. I, uh, a bit of traveling, but I thought, you know, Friday afternoon, evening, be lovely. When was the last time I did something like that? Can't remember. So um, it's quite nice actually because I, I do feel a little bit uh, 
like I said in the last video, a bit self-conscious about doing these. I, it doesn't feel comfortable at all talking to the camera like this, really. Um, but it's kind of pushing me, urging me on a little bit to do more fishing, which is, uh, which is a good thing, you know? So it's, um, yeah, it's definitely worth, uh, worth doing, I think. For me, just starting doing it was more about um, just documenting uh, my my kind of my life really for my children, my children's children, and then their children, you know. But yeah, so like my children and my kind of um, descendants and uh, grand great 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 grandchildren will be able to to look back on this and see what a, a plonker I am <laughs> but I wish that I would have been able to see my great great or even my granddad doing some hobbies and stuff when uh, when he was you know young or younger would have been fascinated to watch that and uh, or even listen to him you know Just told a few stories or something on a tape I would have been I, you know I would have been uh, very eager to to watch that and, and listen and learn. So anyway, so yeah, I hope um, I can, uh, like I said, I can get a little bit better at this and uh, and start being a bit more natural at it, you know. All right, time for a cup of tea, I think. I'm going to call it guys what a fantastic setting and a beautiful little session I've had thoroughly enjoyed it just to, even though I've been here just for literally like two and a half three hours um, got a couple of fish got a bit of supper to take home with me and scored me a, a new species which I'm really pleased with um, definitely uh, makes me think about getting a, a beach shelter though because this is uh, the winds picking up and the, as you can see the clouds building and the sea spray is building up in my beard quite substantially now so <laughs> spray all over the uh, the kit and everything so it's um, yeah it's a, a southerly I think south um, southeasterly possibly so stronger than they said bit of a shame a little bit unlucky with weather um, the last couple of times considering today it was I left um, my work and it was 34 and a half degrees in the car absolutely sweltering as I came down about halfway down dropped to about 22 degrees um, and now it, it feels quite chilly uh, it's probably around 20 degrees, but it feels quite cold. So yeah, not sure when I'm going to be out next, but uh, definitely going to come back around 
this neck of the woods again absolutely fantastic i loved it and it's uh, like i said beautiful open, open ocean lots of people um on uh, lures or feathers or spinners or something because i've seen people you know doing the um doing a lot of lure fishing um not sure what a lot of the guys up the beach are doing but uh, there's probably a, about a dozen 10 12 people fishing right now um yeah so thoroughly enjoyable session um not sure where i'm going next time like i said but uh, i hope to see you there and thanks for watching will bailey fishing show see you again soon bye bye